confirmed by the player and the club. Gunnigan, the kid from Germany who always dreamed to play for Barcelona, as is confirmed now. Simmer transfer has only just started, but is Gunnigan to Barca the best signing of this summer? You will find out on this video. 32 years old, on his prime. And remember, he joined Barcelona for free. The most underrated footballer in the world right now. What a sign and this is for Football Club Barcelona. And in here we go again with my special guest. Gunnigan, the signing of the summer. Yes, so now, Dalival, welcome back again. Everyone, make sure you smash the like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you for all the love and support. What a signing. I'm still in shock. I still cannot believe it doesn't seem like this is real. A player who just won the treble over Man City, a player who the whole world wants to sign. There's not a single club out there wouldn't say they would not want to sign Gunnigan. At least three more seasons at a high level. And yes, the German kid, Gunnigan, what a footballer, has just been confirmed by Barcelona and obviously, and obviously the player. My boy, your four is on Gunnigan. Free player. I know we've made a few videos, we spoke about it. How did okay? Barca is going through a low money problem, right? According to some reports, just before we start recording this video, if a good offer comes, Barcelona has the need to quicker, sooner than later, to start selling players. And if a good offer comes for Frankie de Hong, Barcelona is going to do the same what they did last summer with Frankie de Hong. I don't think that's fair. Because I do like Frankie de Hong and I think Frankie de Hong should stay at Barca. But signing in Gunnigan for free, if a good offer comes in, looks like Barca is going to do the same they did last season in the summer transfer and push for the player to get out of the club, as the, the club really needs money. But, my boy, Gunnigan, you're foolish on the most underrated footballer in the world right now, the treble winner. The Champion League, the one who always turns up. He will never let you down. Yeah, I see. Uh, I still think he's in the Premier League, but that's another discussion. Uh, if Arsenal came in, you never know what would happen there. Because, yeah, but Arsenal didn't come in, and they bottled that. Well, I think he went to Barca way before everything, so it was quite hard to get Arsenal done, but. Like how we've said everything on Gunnigan so many times, he is underrated. So, yeah, I have nothing else to say really. Just, he is a good signing. And to that, De Jong finally could leave, he has a chance. I don't know if that's true, but if he was to leave, it wouldn't feel as bad because he's signing Gunnigan. So, look, I think he's a good player. He's obviously underrated and. We'll see what happens, how he does at Barca. Probably will succeed, most likely. Well, I'd hide him succeeding. I think he would succeed anywhere. Even if he goes and play basketball, just different sport, he would still succeed. What a footballer. I mean, we're talking about, as we, like you just said, we've mentioned this plenty of times. And I think everyone, if you know ball, you know that this guy is so underrated, right? And um, he... He's always had a dream to play for Barcelona. I know Arsenal tried hard, some of the you know, petrol money, Saudi Arabia, but this guy never doubt. He he never never had any doubts that he, if he leaves Man City, he was going to play for Barcelona. A dream. He actually said that, actually tweeted that as well today. And I mean, look, I think every Barca, I've seen all the Barca fans out there. Um, I've got a lot of Barca fans who's very close to me as well, friends of mine. 
And they're all excited, they're all happy. And when you look at uh, Gunningham's style of football, obviously with Man City, style of football similar to Barca, it has that, you know, Barca at the end, you know, that Barca. It has Barca on his blood. This guy will definitely succeed a Barca. There's no doubt about that. And um, excited times ahead as a Barca fan. And I'm sure you as well as a neutral fan, I know you mentioned that to me and you said in one of the, um, the last videos and you said that it's just going to be, it's just going to be amazing to watch this guy play in for Barca, play in next players like Pedri, hopefully Frankie de Jong as well. Shame that Busquets not there anymore because that would just be an absolutely crazy. How good that would be. Busquets, Pedri and Gurigan. That would be a serious, serious problem for every team that would face this three in the midfield. But yeah, look, good again, my people. Guys, let me know your thoughts. But does it not make you wonder how, obviously, with all the money problems Barca has, yeah? I know he's free player, but let's not forget his wages and stuff, right? Does not make you wonder, you as a neutral fan, doesn't matter how you mind. You're a Liverpool fan, but... How did Barca manage to sign a player like Gunningham who have who had big, big, big offers? They're, see, they're more attractive than Barcelona. The world of Barca are the top two attractive clubs in the world. Yeah. And if they're getting Gunderman, that means Barca are gonna sell someone a big asset. Now, who will that be? I have no idea. It could be Frankie De Jong, the one who well, looks like staying, but if a big offer comes in, you never know. Because I think this is how I look at it. If they're signing Gundogan and it's a big wage, that means they are going to sell a big asset. Now, this is the question. Who will they sell? Will it be a surprise? Will it be De Jong? Will it be a big name? I don't know, but look. I think just because you're attractive and you're going to sell someone, I think this shows you're going to sell someone big. I don't know who it is, though, but I think you're going to sell someone big after this. Be one of Let's, those. Wow. Let's, I mean, I'm not going to say I will I, I disagree with you because, obviously, going through all the problems that Barca are going right now, you expect everything. You, we expect Barca to sign Messi for you know Messi coming back home. That never happens, so you will expect everything. But yeah, I mean Barca, of course. Barca is. I always said is Barca is Barca and Madrid are the biggest club in the world. Barca is always that kind of club that every kid dream grow up and dream to play for. And that is for Gunningham. He actually said that as well. Since he was a kid, he always had a dream to be Blaugrana. And in here we go. He's a Blaugrana. And I hope all the Barca fans enjoy. So now we will, even if you're not a Barca fan, as a neutral football fan, I'm sure you will enjoy watching Gunningham. And I said, that's everything from this video. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to support the channel by like, subscribe, drop your comment. Let us know your thoughts as well. And soon, summer transfer has just started. Is Gunningham the signing of the summer? Yes, I think he. There's not going to be another signing that is going to beat the signing of Gunningham to Barcelona. But surprise, surprise, we always have surprises in football. Soon we're going to find out. Thank you everyone for all the love and support. See you guys very soon on the next video.